Hello my friends, this is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to write a steamy, sexy love letter for your loved one, for your significant other, for your other half. So if you're interested on my tips on how to write a steamy love letter for your loved one, please keep watching. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ro. I am the founder of an organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families. I'm also the author of a book called The Comeback Code. I'll pop a link to it up in the cards and also in the description box below. I do not glorify, glamorize prison, prison life, prison wife life here. Frankly, the whole entire thing is really painful and it sucks, but I'll help you make the best out of this really crummy situation. Okay, so on Valentine's Day, I posted a video that got so much love, so many views. It was how I wrote my very first intimate love letter to Adam 10 years into our relationship and I sent it on Valentine's Day because I had nothing that I could send to him. The federal prison system got in our way, basically. They wouldn't let me send him books. They wouldn't let me send him even a card for Christmas, for his birthday. For Valentine's Day, I had nothing to send him, so I figured why not give him the gift that I've been saving for him all along, which was me. And because of some scars in my past, I really have a rough time putting pen to paper and writing out those feelings. So for that specific letter, I had a friend help me come up with it, but you guys kept telling me I can't do that either. I need help in that area too. So I decided to do some research to really help you guys with this in the future. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to be a writer. You don't have to be gifted in the art of putting pen to paper to write an old fashioned, steamy, sexy love letter. There's just kind of some guidelines that you can follow to make this not only doable for you, but also to make it fun and for you to look forward to doing this in the future. And writing this letter is gonna be so fun for your loved one to read because it's just gonna open up their imaginations. It's gonna let them escape where they're stuck in right now, and it'll make you so much more fun and desirable to them. So if you don't wanna do this and you just feel like you're against it and he's forcing you to do it or she's forcing you to do it, I would say wait. But if you wanna do it and you just feel shy and kind of like you don't know what to say or how to say it, follow these tips and I promise you it's gonna make it fun, it's gonna make it easy and watch where it takes your relationship. Neither one of you is gonna be disappointed. Okay, so the first tip is use flattering adjectives. So you need to know your loved one. Know what they're like, know what they like. What you wanna do is start, just start studying them. Start focusing on the small stuff. When you go to visit, take notice of things. When you talk on the phone, just start picking up on the words that they use, on the things that they say, on how they describe things. The more you start describing things the same way they do, the more you start using the words that they use, they might not even realize it, but it starts becoming familiar to them. It shows them how much romantic admiration you have for them, and it's just flattering to hear people speak and use the words that you use. You also want to say their name. There is nothing sweeter than hearing the sound of your own name, especially by the person you love. It's actually scientifically proven that the sound of a person's name is the sweetest sound to them. So make sure that you're using their name and sprinkling it throughout the letter. Don't overuse it. That could start sounding creepy, but you know, just pepper it through. So here are some points that you want to study and just start writing down. How do they smell? in a good way, of course. How do they move? What are their movements like? How do they sip on their coffee? How do they flirt? What's the way that they dress that's different from other people? What are some of their quirks that you notice, but most likely nobody else would? So for Adam, it's this way that he kind of just like creaks his neck and gives you the side eye look. And then this really devious smile slowly spreads across his face. Or for a man, it's the way that you wrinkle your nose like an unruly schoolgirl who cheated her way to my heart. Ooh, you can even use your favorite songs and especially his or her favorite songs to inspire these things. You also want to flirt and you want to flirt the way that flirting is natural to you. You don't want to flirt in a way that's natural to somebody else because that's going to come across as kind of creepy. You have to make this very authentic. And honestly, when my friend sent me the letter that she helped me write 
she wrote, let's be real. She asked me a couple questions, I answered them, she wrote the letter, she sent it back to me, and I had to change a couple of things around that didn't sound like me. Because if he gets that letter and it doesn't sound like me, it's gonna sound fake, it's gonna sound contrived, and it's it, it might even sound a little bit cold, and he's like, who is this? You wanna avoid it coming across as creepy and genuinely being from you. So just think about, like, are you a shy flirter? Do you do innuendos and wait for him to catch it? Do you go in hot? and heavy. Just be you and start with what attracts you to him or her. What leads you to the bedroom? I don't want you to get all hot and heavy here. I don't want you to get dirty. I don't want you to get into bed yet. You're setting the scene right now. Think foreplay. Think leading up to the bedroom right now. Don't go in for the kill. You got to save a little bit for the imagination. So what's the conversation and the body language going on? What are you guys doing in this scene right now? For some inspiration, you can look at romance novels. So I'm going to read some great adjectives for you to use. Smoldering, deep, taunting, wicked, fervent, spicy, curious, adventurous, playful, enticing, enchanting, silken, which reminds me of tofu, lush, impassioned, sultry, torrid, dirty, white hot, feverish, impressive, insatiable, unstoppable, and addictive. Make sure to include some adjectives that are very unique to this person and their individual appearance. And the reason you want to use tasteful but creative adjectives here is you're starting to stir up emotion in your partner right now. You're making it exciting. Now he's getting a little bit thrilled. If you guys watched that video of me about the letter that I wrote to Adam, he said as he read through this letter, he got more and more excited. You're building right now. Just think of it like you would think about actually being intimate with your partner. You don't want to miss the fun, taunting, tantalizing foreplay. You don't want to just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, this, because you'll miss the whole point of this exercise. Step two is think like an animal and use action words. There's a guy at work that makes this sound like, I can't do it, but it's so funny. And, and that's what I think. I want you to think of your inner feline right now. Get in touch with that animalistic side. Ooh, this is gonna be juicy and fun. So now is when you're gonna get heated and you're going to tell this person how they make you feel, what rises up inside of you when you think about them, when you think about being together. Don't be afraid to use very vivid and detailed words right now. Don't be afraid to use words related to animals right now. Get in touch with your animalistic side. Get in touch with your raw emotions. Be intense, be engaging, be tasteful, but be passionate. Words that you want to use in this part of the letter are things like taste, arouse, tempt, linger, savor, ruthless, tremble, hunger, lick, attack, attract, sense, pounce, inhale, devour, pray, excite, anticipate, hunt, and pursue. Ooh, you could feel yourself getting excited just when you read words like that. And here comes step three. This is the fun part. Get dirty. Get down and dirty, my friend. So this is the part where you get to combine your description and your action words, and you get to describe for them word for word what you're going to do to them or with them when you get a moment alone together. Now, everything that you mentioned should be non-threatening. It should be flattering. It should be especially pleasurable for your partner. So in my letter, I had to change it around a little bit because it was me, 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 you're doing this to me. And I really wanted to make it about him, how he's gonna feel, the pleasure he's gonna feel, how he's making me feel so I can make him feel. So an example would be, you delight me, you tempt me, but most of all, I enjoy every bit of it and I wanna show you just how much I crave you. The thought of your hot skin pressing hungrily into my eager flesh, which only serve to remind me that I need to know everything about you before my self-control erupts. You delight me, you tempt me, but most of all, I enjoy every bit of it and I want to show you just how much I crave you. Do you see all of those action words? Do you see how you have such descriptive words and also action words going on at the same time to get that person really excited while they're reading it? To get their mind to really think that they're there, they could visualize what's happening, what everything looks like, what it sounds like, what it feels like, what's going on, even what it smells like, what's going on in the moment in this letter. So an extra special letter like this is not only about sex, it's a combination of sexuality, class, taste, love, and lust. Step four in this letter is you want to put it all out there. Did you know that we always tend to buy more than what we actually need. And that's because of a marketing technique, which includes trigger words. These 
trigger words or selling words are also really helpful when you're writing a love letter because you're leaving that person wanting more. It's all about selling yourself and your services to make yourself totally irresistible and appealing to your lover. Selling words include words like revealing, powerful, gripping, luxurious, genuine, daring, lavish, deserve, unlock, guarantee, obsession, emerging, monumental, fascinating, superior, pleasurable, fresh, authentic, stylish, ample, and compelling. So here are some do's and don'ts of writing a steamy love letter. Do write this letter with the actual level of romanticism and intimacy of where you're at right now in your relationship. So if this is fresh, then write it at that level. If you wanna stick your neck out and go a little bit further in your relationship, do that too. But don't start writing about things like him choking you out if that's something that you would never wanna do. If you're afraid to do something or you don't wanna do it or you're not ready to explore that side of you, then don't be exploring it in a letter. Don't tell the person that you love them for the first time in this letter. So if you've never told this person I love you before, don't do it here. You wanna keep this playful, energetic, fun. You don't wanna make this too deep for the first time because that's gonna take away from the playfulness of this. It can make you closer and it can make that grow and it can help you learn to say that in person on the phone or at visit, but I wouldn't go there the first time here because that's kind of degrading the meaning of I love you. But on the flip side, if you are genuinely in love with each other and you've been together for a while and you've said I love you to each other before multiple times, then incorporate that here and use that here because this is supposed to be sexual, but maybe you're telling a story of making love. Do consider who your audience is here. So you definitely want to write this to a lover, to somebody you're in a relationship with, to a husband, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a friend, not a friend. <laughs> but you don't want to do this if you just met this person. You don't want to do this if they're asking you, begging you to do it, making you feel like you have to do this. Do this because it's genuine. Do it because you want to and do it because you're at the level in your relationship where you feel ready to do this. If you do it at any other time, either it'll be creepy for that person to get it or worse, it'll make you feel like you did this because you were forced to, and that's awful, and that's no fun, and that's going down a road of control from the other person. You don't have to speak about only physical needs. Everybody connects on different levels. We connect on physical levels. We connect mentally, we connect emotionally, we connect spiritually. So don't be afraid to bring into that letter the fact that because you connect on this emotional level, that's why the physical of this action that you're describing so vividly is feeling so good and working so well because of that other connection that you can absolutely incorporate into this. Don't be a turnoff, don't be rude, don't be disgusting. Enough said. Do have fun with it. And if you find yourself in a situation where even after you've tried a whole bunch of times, if you try and it doesn't come out right, try again, give it some time, practice with different words, pull up thesaurus.com, play around. But if you are just totally, completely writer's blocked, if you just can't bring yourself to do it, if it's making you feel negatively emotional, if it's making you cry, feel inadequate, there are websites that you can go to and you can either buy or I think there is ones out there that you can get this for free. I will post it in the comments below when I find them. I didn't have an opportunity to search for these, but I know that they're out there because I found them in the past before and I never was brave enough to send the letter to Adam until my friend helped me with this. And she might have had help doing that too. That or she can write a steamy love letter in five minutes. But the point is there are resources out there to help you with this if you just can't. If you tried and this how-to just is not working for you, it's making you feel insecure, inadequate, you don't like it, do that too. But I encourage you to do it this way first because honestly, this is the best way to describe him, to describe you, your relationship. It could be unique and it could be specific to you guys, your inside jokes, your characteristics, the way that you guys speak. And that's what's gonna make him or her so excited to read this and 
get the most pleasure out of it. So that's all I've got for you. If you want me to elaborate, make more videos about this, I'm learning with you. Like I told you guys in the Valentine's Day video, this is so far out of my comfort zone. But when you heard the love and appreciation and playfulness and that little boy inside of Adam come out and he told me how my camera died so i'll make this really quick he told me how excited he was and how much he genuinely appreciated it that made it all worth it you guys keep staying strong keep loving strong keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to all being behind you lots of love from my heart to all of yours i will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one and if you try this please let me know how it goes in the comments below and let me know if you want more of this or anything like that we could do more videos all about this i tore my hands up at the gym so i know you see things and everybody comments on them so there's that i love you guys lots of love from my heart to all of yours I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.